Hello there and welcome back to Cory Loses, where today we are once again continuing our Thrawn's Revenge 3.4 preview playthrough as the Huts. In the last few episodes, we've continued to wrap around the outer reaches of the galaxy, and we're in an okay position in both the north and the south. So our hope is going to be that we can get C or Sluis Van and Solace with without too much trouble. Uh, but our ground forces are still a little bit lacking. So we have some hut lords around here. We have Clan Burglar in chat posting completely cursed emotes. And I think we can take these guys off the ground there and get them over here. Because uh, the goal is going to be to take Druckenwell and Glom, though. Uh, I, think, I think that makes the most sense. And where are... Where are we going to want to get My some smugglers? Smugger. What's our cantina situation looking like? Do we need to make people a little bit more... No, we're, we're actually okay on cantinas for the next little while. Uh, so let's make sure we have those all building wherever we can. My There's still smugger. a bunch of them building there. Um, there can be My some building smugger. here. We can get some My building smugger. here. All right. So... Uh, with that, let's send a couple into Haven territory. Because uh, we want to send some into Haven territory. We want to go over to this corner with the PA. Uh, this will just give us some nice, some nice views of the other guys, too. I feel like some of these are going to fall a bit too soon. I don't want to go in too heavily on them uh, but we're also on our way up to the CSA territories so what's here we have an okay ground force we're gonna need more if we want to continue on from there uh, it was asking more SSDs coming the next few updates we're gonna have to stick with the current ones we basically have almost every SSD there is there's not really more to add <laughs> Like, we also don't want to have, like, seven available in one faction. That would not be great. Uh, so, like, I guess, yeah, if you want to count the Darksaber, if you want to count, like, any SSDs for upcoming factions, like the Killik Nest ships, but... Hey, they're coming to Lantilles. I'm going to go to Lantilles. And... We'll send someone to Borlaeus. We can send. Oh, hello. Oh my. Okay. Not quite what I was hoping for. We do have an ion cannon. I don't think we really have anything in Butana right now. We've already pulled them all out. Yeah. We're Butanalists. I mean, seven buildable regular SSDs. Well, that's, uh. Hmm. Gonna get good use of that ion cannon, at the very least. Because if it's just one big... Here, if you want to sit there. Now, let's get back to the station. We're gonna have a lot of fighters, which is kind of what you want if you're gonna be fighting an SSD. Uh, we're gonna have an ion cannon, which is also what you want if you're gonna fight an SSD. We're not gonna have Bhutana Hutta units, which is something that I actually do want while I'm fighting this SSD. Reinforcements but... It's also, it's not going to be the easiest for the SSD to navigate. Reinforcements en route. Squadron reporting. All right. So everyone just get back as far as we can into the, Reinforcements into the route. hole. Reinforcements en route. Okay. You're going to get your energy back en in a second. I wonder if it's worth us trying to go around and kill some of those while we wait. Sometimes the AI can get messed up by their main ship that they want to escort getting HV gunned at the start or ion cannon at the start. So maybe we'll get lucky and that's what happens. Ion cannon available. Uh, let's get all the fighters over here too. So, here. We have so many fighters and bombers. Everyone go around there. I'm just going to give them a nice... 
control group. I was not noticing it actually come up on the side there. Battleship standing by. They're starting to move some of these in. Uh, can I actually put you over here? We might just be able to kill her. Alright, Hrothgar's asking, when will we get a proper change log for the next version? Uh, within a few days of the release. The... The release is changing less within the beta period than Fall of the Republic did. Uh, there are still a couple things that need their their final state addressed. But right here. Advancing. An updated change log will be posted once we are actually at release time. You see... Yeah, it's trying to go. It's not going, though. Alright, let's uh, get them over here. You're gonna keep going for them. Like we, I think our fighters and bombers on this can just go and kill her. Especially with the ion cannon just shutting it down repeatedly. Then we'll see if uh, we cause ourselves any trouble when we get in range. Okay, you guys are supposed to be out front. But it doesn't matter, because we'll be able to kill what we have coming in here pretty easily. There is about 85 pop cap in reserve, maybe a bit more. Weapons are we free to attack? Open fire. Target at maximum right, firepower. You can get that. Well, you don't even need to get that. We'll just stay on this. I'm going to try to get their bomber. Eh, the bombs are going too early. But we'll see how many of them miss. One of the things with Empire at War, the... Uh, this stuff will go from, like, range is multiplied, basically, by the size of the ship. Which is, it means you can hit SSDs from farther away than a smaller one. Alright, going back to the community challenge with, uh, the precursor killing. Enemy target sighted. We're gonna be halfway through the shields there. Uh, you guys just need to make sure that the fighters don't get... Oh, there... She's trying to move out. But I think we probably win. Like, we're not going to be fighting her directly with our ships until... Shields are pretty much down. Alright. If there's any news regarding the reworks for generic Jedi and Sith units, no. There has not been any news. It's too bad I don't have a... Uh, I don't have a, a nice hot lord to get some money in here. Oh well. There are a lot of different stat blocks for generic Jedi units. But... The place where that's going to be most important is probably in the second release of Revan's Revenge. All right, we're about to what is your order? have cannon available. Ion Cannon again, so we can stop her in her tracks once again. There is a la at least one Lancer that's in the region here. So, oh, hello. We get we get a Grand Admiral. Fleet, your transmission guard we got to stop the Grand Admiral. Weapons. That's going to be a nice big... No, the guys, 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 guys. The Dreadnought is not the important one right there. Well, it's still... It's still just a space hero category. Dreadnought 
Eliminating target. Our space station is under attack. Turn around for another one. I'm on them. I should really assign some different targets, because we're gonna be through the shields in a moment. We're also kind of low on our our bombers again. Unfortunately. Battleship standing by. Heavy cruiser standing by. ready. Primary target acquired. Well, they caused a lot of damage to us there too. All right, we need to come on in through here and get up there. Hopefully, this bombing run puts their shields down, but we're still pretty low. Low on bombers back over here. So we'll just make sure that we get all those tied defenders, which we are. Are we free to attack? And at least we'll have some time for our shields to come back. Can I get uh where are my bombers? Enemies in range. Are they all just dead? I think my my poor Dune Lizards are dead. Or Moglia. Komogilas. Yeah, I think they just killed all of my bombers. Frequency open. Uh, Diamond's asking, wondering for a while, what part do you do in the development of the mods? Just curious what do you do in terms of the teamwork? Uh, so I do a bit of everything. Like, I do some of the modeling, texturing. Uh, don't do much rigging anymore. Uh, used to do mapping, don't do that as much anymore. Uh, the biggest thing I work on is Lua scripting, so like the government mechanics, the framework, uh, I do a lot of the work on that. Uh, like coding things like Butanahata, doing the design work and the implementation there, that's uh, a big chunk of what I do. Haven't had to do too much modeling or texturing in a while, though I am going to do more texturing in uh, in point five because I haven't used my subscription to Substance Painter in a while. Stay in formation. Okay, let's get you. Okay, with Makati dead, that's going to make that a little bit easier. Dreadnought cruiser ready. Like, it has been a while since I've done modeling. I think the Asserter might even still be the last thing that I finished. I, I don't go. think that's true. It might be true. Fire at will. I'm also, like, overall in charge of planning everything, coordinating stuff. So I get to tell everyone when it's time to stop adding new stuff for a release so that we can actually get something out and get into beta. All right, we're getting there, but we still do have to get these Lancers. Because that is still a problem. No, uh, if you if you're making you're making them all miss. Awaiting orders. The lasers are our target. All right, we need to get those turbo lasers first. I'd like it if we. Our target priority is the laser cannons. Not to. The lasers are out have an ion cannon shot a bit sooner than that. I copy. Fire it will. All right, you guys need to get in there. There's just too much that's going to be hunting them down. Uh, well, no, that's okay. That's okay. I thought we'd lost more of them than we actually had. Engines All right, activated. you get that Our medium turbo laser. I do need to do some target swapping. And I want you all attacking different ones. Reporting. 
Like, the team is way bigger now than it had been in the past. So, with, Weapon like, online. Oz being able to model as fast as he can while also not uh, doing texturing, then that means, like, there's a lot more stuff that ends up needing texturing than modeling. Uh, so, that ends up meaning that I'm not... I don't need to do as much modeling, but I do need to do a bit more texturing to... To fill those gaps, yes, sir. Uh, but like a lot of the time, for people like Philoraptor or Sky, they're gonna be or Evil Bob the Bob, they're gonna be doing uh, the texturing on their own models. So that's kind of like if Sky models something, if Philo models something, or if I model something or Bob, uh, then the person who models it is gonna do the texture as well. Uh, but there are a few people on the team, like T78 and Osritzel, who do a lot of modeling but don't do the texturing. So then, like, there's always a bigger gap between what's modeled and what's textured. And of course, texturing can't happen until after a model's done anyways. So that's another limiting factor on that. Frequency uh, open. The lasers are target. Okay, I wonder if I can put the heavies off here. Like, we're probably going to lose a Voracious, but I'd like to keep this side intact. Like, we're not going to be able to get back to Rogris. He's just going to be chilling back there for a while. And I kind of just have to try to take down these... Weapons, primarily the turbo lasers, as fast as we can. I copy. Can I move some of you back Dread there? Ready. Medium turbo laser. Form up. Let's go the that medium. Target. Our target priority is the laser. Yeah, we're gonna have an ion cannon shot in a second. That'll really help. Ion cannon available. And I can move some of you in as well. Okay, there is about to be Rogris in range too. Okay, can I gotta get you away? We're running out of bombers. We ran out of bombers. Copy. The lasers are our target. Turbo lasers are the most important. Our target priority is the laser cannons. Heavy cruiser standing by. Draw their fire. Not great. Okay, want to use down. Engines activated. I might no. I won't even be able to hit with the, the with the next one onto Rogris. Disable those ion cannons. Okay, we have a lot of fighters. We don't have any bombers left, and we're kind of outnumbered in fighters. Fleet, your transmission garbled. Repeat. Or in like raw capitals. Okay, get through there. Battleship standing by. Let's try to get over to this side with the stuff we do have. IPV reporting. Bring it here. If we could kill Rogris, that'd be nice. I don't think it's gonna happen. Well, we gotta just make sure their bombers don't take control. Um, Take out the missile launchers. Maybe on that side. Okay, you guys just get them. Let's try to take the the other stuff out first. She's starting to get back into it. Our target priority is the laser cannons. Dreadnought cruiser ready. Weapons charged. I think all the stuff that was in reserve is gone. Ion cannon available. Uh, 
I oh might just want to retreat. He's at 50%. Or if I can get back there. Awaiting command. We can try to get out of here. Yeah, we need the bombers back. No, we're going to lose that voracious as well. That's sad. Well, rip. We wouldn't be able to make it back to the stations. They'd just get eaten. The anti-fighter and the other fighters were able to just get through our bombers too much. Lost Orbital 5G, some PDF Dreadnoughts, and feeling sluggish. But we killed the Grand Admiral. And do we have another fleet that's in range? We do have you. Alright, we're getting into Druckenwell as well. I don't know if I had a Pathfinder that I set for this before I moved in. The enemy. Yeah, Asard will still have all that damage done. I think we were just about at 50%. Choose your reinforcements. So, okay, we do have our Pathfinder. This one is just a regular double warship, no name. We'll get in Kerbos, we have a Karaga, Bontor, we have Tiefling's Tail, and... Uh, persistent damage has been around for a couple of years now. That was another of the things that I worked on. Like, those kinds of things are the thing I work on most. I'll do, like, overviews for specific features or mechanics, uh, and then I'll work on those. Are we free to attack? Uh, okay. At least we'll have a definite victory on this side of the map. Uh, they are going to retreat. That's good. So we should be able to take Druckenwell in the next couple plans. Okay, I need to stop touching the stupid screw. I keep having that same intrusive thought I talked about in yesterday's Community Challenge stream. If anyone hasn't seen that, I won't go into it because it was it bothers me. Well, we are about to have another release in a couple weeks for Thrawn's Revenge. Hey, okay, get over there. I'm gonna put these smugglers on Arenda. And I'll put these smugglers... Oh, I wanted to put those smugglers over there. Damn it! I wanted to get this before... God, he... Doing. Who's this guy? These Natas. Really? Star Wars, come on. Mm, I think we have the money to assist in a lot of these. It's a fair amount of infantry, but I think the vehicle... We'll see. Where's the other Dorbola? I think it's the one that's coming in Ready. to fight Isard. Hey, this is actually not the most difficult map to defend on either. They'll we'll probably get up to that landing zone, but let's get the WLOs in there fastest. And you guys can go in there faster as well. How to deal with the lovely EAW pathfinding. Position. 
Okay, I'm gonna try to get Healy Boys back there. I'm gonna try to get anti-infantry up here. I think they might have gotten to that one. Okay, Healy. And we're gonna get AA there. Okay, take cover. There you go. I need these to move in a little bit more. Ready to move. The pod walkers got adjusted a little bit after this playthrough started, so they're a bit more awkward to use than they ultimately will be. There you go. Now they should be in the right position. All right, there's the Death Hawks that I was worried about. Or at least some of them. Field bases too. Awaiting orders. All right, well, they are getting that one, but I think I can just get these turrets if this is how that's going to be. We have, we do have the technology there. Just gonna get double anti-infantry on that. All right, uh, this is gonna be anti-infantry and AA because they might bomb this way. Right. Yeah, we're not really gonna be able to stop that at the landing zone. Oh, you're just stuck. Thanks, civilian spawns. That's just very Empire at War of you. Empire at War parentheses derogatory. Okay, let's not be in here. Several of you will die. That's just gonna be how it how it is. Yeah, let's get the infantry up front. And all right, you turn around and are you in range from there? Yes, commander. Okay, now you all should be in range, and that should get a lot of you. Okay, they are making some landings on that side with lighter vehicles. Not great. Okay, here it is. They got him. System lost. Well, they're gonna pay for this. Just unfortunately, I would rather they paid like before we lost the planet. Uh, actually, is the Darbola over here? E no, that's the Dark Saber. So Darbola is on this fleet. Yeah. I think we might have been able to kill the other PX4, but I don't think the pod walkers we had were going to be able to end the and the other guys. All right. Uh, so if we just come in here and kill you first with Nimrod's Revenge, then we'll have Mighty Dragon over here. We'll get Popara on that side. Get some some money out of that. Rotus Hot Rod, Hot Rod, Graceful Promising. And who's got our best command bonus? You're a tier three. We'll put you in there. Used to be an EOTH ship, you know. Tuning fork. Oh, I, I said tuning fork. Get in there. And then we want slug boat and two of the vendors, because finally we want a battle. So have a jab of bubble gum. Okay. Let's get these bombers to maybe attack the middle there. Raise the chances that things stay nice and proper. Uh, and let's also put in Scum and Villain. Okay, so Nemrose is going to take a heck of a beating.
See the chemo geodes going in. Fleet, your transmission garbled. Repeat. Battleship standing by. She's got a lot of shields. I I really wish I had the the thingy. The ion cannon. Got him now. Not just the thingy. Okay, at least she doesn't have a command bonus anymore. Uh, Scum and Vilnius in a risky place. Okay. We're getting the shields down fast. We have lost shields on Nemros. But I think if we can keep this up, we'll get our... We'll get our chance to take out all the weapons on this side. Because uh, the Dorbola should still have the ability to tank for quite some time. Even with shields down. Because as I keep telling you all, don't be afraid of hut hulls. If you only have hut hulls left, the hut hulls will hold. Hut hulls hold. The lasers are our target. Okay. If, uh... She does try to retreat from this. I do need to make sure that she is not going to make it. Like, priority one is definitely taking out the weapons on this side. Uh, we got sheets of bombs coming in. Okay, if you guys don't want to... Eh? There. Engines activated. Okay, that's most of the weapons on this side. We're still at like 90% on Nemeros. So... There. I really don't think he... Nemeros is in much danger now. Okay, I'm gonna get you to just keep... Uh, keep going on there. And I'll have you guys start taking out some of the weapons on this side. Because we are really relying on those firing ranges. Or firing arcs. And we're using our space arcs for the firing arcs. Our target priority is the laser I need to break off. Uh, just keep, uh, yeah, just keep getting us some, some little monies. And those fighters. The lasers are our target. And I think this side is pretty much cooked. So just letting everything spread out naturally, we should be getting those on their way in. I think that uh, that Ton Falk had enough. Managed to make her out. I can respect that. Uh, where's that other Vontor, though? Copy. You're, I think you're hiding Engines in here. Activated. Nope, it's. I think it might have been you. Direct I gotta make sure we do kill those engines so that she does not make it away. Weapons online. All right. Fleet, your transmission garbled. Repeat. Well, Isard, your job was supposed to be taking out all the other factions, but you decided to come for me. And I hope Lentilles was worth it, because you're going to lose that in a second, too. Not that you'll care, you're going to be dead. It's going to be Thrawn's problem. Uh, yeah, Nemro really did manage to pull through for us there. So, ultimately, we did lose the two Voraciouses. We'll be able to build them back. Maybe even build them back better. You don't know. Frequency open. Our target priority is the laser cannons. I, I keep wanting to get like a nice shot of them going over with bombs coming down. That's not playing well for me. Roger that. All right. Weapons Obviously, charged. no chance of a retreat there, but I, I may as well kill that engine just for... Just to be thorough. 
There's a lot of fighters that are back here trying to stop our bombers. Which is like... It's 24 credits each in some cases. But there's some double squads back there. Look at those double tie interceptors. Uh, this will be like a cool <laughs> thousand credits for us. Right, power weapons. Alright. Alright. So not only are Makati and Isar dead, we did take out Rogress. We haven't put we haven't put much emphasis on that, but Rogress is a good one. So I'm glad he's gone. Lost scum and villainy, but you know what? Take that trade any day. Uh, but that, I think, is going to do it for today's episode. So we're going to keep going here on Twitch. But for those of you watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Hope you are enjoying the series so far. And I hope to see you next time. Bye, everyone. <laughs>